calm down. Don't get it wrong. Sea hares or nutabranches are actually members of the sea snail family. Dolpino's friend has a unique popular name. Its name is Spanish Dancer. It is called a Spanish Dancer because its movements are very similar to the flamingo dance from Spain. Haha. <laughs> So far, no other type of snail has been discovered that can move like this Spanish dancer. The Dolpino's dance is actually a way for them to move other than crawling. By contorting its body so he can move places quickly. If sea snails usually have small bodies, this Dolpino's friend has a quite large body between 10 to 15 centimeters. Okay then. Let's continue dancing with Dolvino. The story is different between sea snails and land snails, friends. Oh, wait a minute. What is that? Looks like you're being attacked by something. That's his Dolpino's friends. The snail, bro, you're just making me panic, suddenly appeared in the wrong place. Friends, it turns out that these snails are carrying out their task of making facial skin bright. In Korea and America, there is a popular beauty using these snails. Yep, who would have thought that the mucus produced by snails would be good for our skin health? Hey, but not only abroad. In Indonesia, it turns out, there is also a legacy of cultural traditions of the Lombok people, who use snails to rejuvenate their skin. This snail is usually called by the Bumigwara people as Tenerda. Dolpino friends are land snails, aka Lensluk. Temerta are invertebrates, friends. He belongs to the Philomoliusca group of gastropods. According to the information that Dolpinos got, since ancient Greek times, the mucus in snails has been used as a beauty care ingredient. It is believed that snail mucus contains hyaluronic acid, protein, and antioxidants. This content is very good for treating acne, anti-aging, renewing skin cells, maintaining moisture, and eliminating inflammation of the skin. Women will definitely be happy to hear that. One of the mollusks that we often encounter is the golden snail. This is a rice field snail with a golden shell. They are considered pests because they eat rice. Apart from that, their eggs which stick to the rice stems also cause the plants to die. Just said it. There are already golden snails laying eggs. Golden snails will not lay eggs in your water because their eggs can become easy prey for fish or frogs. Apart from that, these slow eggs can also rot because they cannot survive long in water. But how come the egg can walk by itself? Does anyone know how snails do it? Turns out that this snail uses body muscle contractions to release its eggs. Unique, huh? Every month, golden snails can produce 1,000 eggs. And these eggs only take 14 days to hatch. Do you know this one yet? He is a snail one of the land snails belonging to the Phylumulusta family as well, or animals that do not have backbones. One of his characteristics is that he always leaves with his house. Even though they look slow, snails are actually animals that have powers like superhero friends. Not only are they good at walking on land, but they can also climb. But actually, how good are you at climbing? Well then, it's time for the show to begin.
Let's test the prowess of this snail with glass media in a vertical position. This mollusca still survives in a relaxed manner. In fact, it doesn't slip at all when the glass is upside down. But this time you will definitely fail, friend. Because this non-stick frying pan will be the toughest test. Look calmly at Dolvino's friend, moving on the surface of the non-stick frying pan. Now let's increase the difficulty level. Turn the frying pan over. Looks like this time Dolpino admits your greatness, bro. Why are snails able to stick to slippery objects? Snails move using a single thick muscle that functions like a leg. This muscle movement causes abdominal waves so that air is sucked in. This friend's strength doesn't stop there, friend. The snail has mucus, not just any mucus. Well, this sharp cutter was deliberately prepared as a medium for snails to pass through. Was he able to get through it, or was he injured? Pay close attention. The snail starts to move. It runs very smoothly. Even a sharp cutter can't hurt you. The snail even looks relaxed passing through without getting the slightest scratch. Snails do have mucus. That always protects them even from sharp objects. 